Hey y'all, long time no see, I know it's been about a month since I made my last video. And it's just been a culmination of things that's been causing me not to make videos. One, I've only been reading the Harry Potter series this whole month, so I didn't really have anything much to say considering that. Two, I haven't been watching any YouTube videos, I just haven't been interested in that for the whole month. And watching YouTube videos tends to motivate me into making videos, so the combination of those two things definitely helped. But then I'm also adding hours with work, I have three jobs, and it's just a lot of changes all at once, and I'm just trying to get used to it, and because of that, rereading Harry Potter is like the easiest and best thing for me at the moment. But I am almost done with Harry Potter, and I should be done with it by July. So I thought I would just share with you what I want to read in the month of July, and you know, hopefully these books will be as enjoyable as I'm hoping them to be. First, I want to try Pavilion of Women by Pearl S. Buck. I don't remember what this is about, but I've been wanting to read something by this author for quite some time, and this was free, and I said I might as well just pick it up since I've been wanting to read this author for ages. Of Human Bondage by W. Somerset Maugham. I apologize if I cut his name wrong. I'm not really sure if I pronounced it right. All I know about this is that it's about a man named Philip who's trying to break away from his strict Christian upbringing and he's trying to find some freedom outside of it and I think he travels to somewhere and things go from there. The last three books that I have here are rereads, but I haven't read them for a while so I'm interested to see how my opinion may change or if I like them even more. We shall see. The first is The Firm by John Grisham. Now with John Grisham, if there's a film out of it, I tend to watch it first and then read the books because the books are kind of dry and hard to get into for me and if I've watched and enjoyed the film, I know that I'll be able to enjoy the book. And for The Firm, I hadn't even known it was a book when I had watched the film like a hundred times over and I love that film. And so finding out it was a book, I had to pick it up and I enjoyed it. Maybe not as much as the film because like I said, I have a hard time with his books, they're a bit dry for me. But I do enjoy it. And hopefully that agreement will last in my second reread. Notes from Underground, The Devil and Other Stories by Fyodor Dostoevsky. This is just a compilation of his shorter works and I don't know if I read all of them, but I'm hoping to see what my opinion is this time around. I know my opinion was pretty iffy the first time, so I'm hoping maybe it will have grown on me. Anthem by Anne Rand. Anthem is about the Dark Ages, basically, where we lost all traces of science and knowledge and this one man decides that he's going to go and seek out knowledge and because of that he's marked for death. And I'm very interested to reread this and see if I can learn more and understand more of what Rand was saying through this. Um, I don't exactly agree with her philosophy, but I find what she has to say interesting. There you go, those are the five books I'm planning to read in July, hopefully. I will be able to at least read half of these books. I would love to hear from you what you're reading, how your summer's going so far. Just to have a chat down below, thank you all so much for watching and keep smiling.